Like this video in the next 10 seconds or find this fucking job of the hut in your bedroom tonight. Like the damn video. I don't want to go to school tomorrow. I can study thinking about you. And you know I always do. I don't want to go to sleep tonight when I can sleep. What's up boys? We're finally here in the first video of the reinstallment of my channel. This is some crazy shit, bruh. Today we're gonna be looking at the average gamer and its natural habitat. Nah, I'm just kidding, but I thought what better way than to begin the new chapter of this channel than with my 500 pound life. Well, not actually my life. This is the life of Casey, a 30 year old very large man who enjoys playing video games naked in his dad's house. So, on average, Casey probably eats in a day more than what I eat in a fucking week. Sit. I would just eat until I'm dead, probably. A normal day for me is wake up around 12, figure out something I'm going to eat immediately, TV, video games, bed. It's not a lot of activity. It's hot. It's hot. All right, all right, wait, hold up. Look at this shit. Of course he's a fucking Xbox player. No PlayStation player would ever be caught looking like this. This dude is straight up the average Xbox player. Wait, wait, wait. Do you guys see that in the background? He's got the Xbox national flag too. What the fuck? Hot in Georgia. And all my clothing is restricting and tight. So I just sit in there naked, free as can be. And no one bothers me, door shut, we're good. Bro, you're fucking 500 pounds. All clothes on you are gonna be restrictive and tight. By the way, I forgot to say, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Uh, speaking of Thanksgiving, this dude's built like the fucking mashed potatoes I ate yesterday. Oh no, he's got it. Oh god, he's got that one guy that's gonna kill me. Oh no, he's weak. But I'm weak. I'm weak. Ah! I'm gonna die. He's down. Alright, who's fucking with me, bro? Who's recommending this to me? This dude is what I would have looked like in 15 years if I didn't quit Fortnite. And also, how is he gonna call out that he's getting shot when this man is pickaxing a fucking wall? Alright, I gotta go in the kitchen and get, uh, stuff. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm accepted in all those virtual reality worlds and the gaming world I'm in. No one sees me. No one sees me. That is my outside. That is my world that I can be the Casey I want to be, but not be judged on my weight. First things first, I find it hilarious that they don't even have to blur out the front part of this dude because his flabs are so big that it's just natural cover. I mean, the editors of the show just must fucking love this dude. But he's only accepted in the virtual community and that just got me thinking. He's probably one of those grown ass men that go into VR chat as like a 10 year old anime girl that is way too sexualized and he'd be pulling up on dudes like I'm a vulnerable little girl. I'm 12 years old. I need some assistance. It appears I've lost my mother when I was in the Barbie section of the toy aisle. No, okay, now we're in the restroom. The men's restroom. What, what the, what, what, what? What the heck are you doing? You're unzipping your pants. Wow, is that a penis? I've heard a lot about those. Okay, you want me to suck it? All right. I don't know how this will help me find my mom, but whatevs. That was a tasty treat that cannot be beat. Anyway, where's my mom? What's that? You have a gun and you're going to murder me? All right, see you later. I never would have thought at 34 I'd be living with my father and I'd be have no job, have no real money, and just be playing video games all day and eating. To be honest though, I'm kind of jealous. This dude is living all of our dreams, you know, minus 350 pounds. In a way, I sort of envy this dude. I've always been a big kid. Out of high school, I was probably 300 something pounds. But then I got out of school, got a couple of jobs at a couple of restaurants. I ate at them. I was probably around 500 pounds then, and uh, it was just getting too difficult to work, so I quit my job. My mom said, to live in this house, you have to have a job. So she kicked me out, and I, the only place I had left to go was my father's. So I went there. Bro, did this dude eat at the restaurant or the entire restaurant itself? Okay, maybe I'm being a little mean, but I don't understand how you let yourself get like this. There's gonna be a point in your life where you're like, wow, I'm way too fat and I don't wanna be like this. But anyways, his mom said get a job or leave and this dude just fucking left. What a savage. Oh my God, Nanners, where are you? Nanners, is this even a real game? Why are you not just pushing these people with me? 
Jason, I got your food. Oh, okay. All right. They got the drinks. I don't know which one's tea and which which one's Dr. Pepper. You have to you have to look in and see. He'll tell me what to get him, and I come right back a lot of times in case that's too much food. But I'll get it for him and bring it to the house and put it right in front of him. Oh, He's my son. I love him. I love to make him happy, you know. And food's got a lot to do with his happiness, but He's like an addict about food. If you've ever played Fortnite or any other battle royale, we've all had that one teammate who goes in and rushes by themselves and then blames you for when they die. This is what they look like in real life. But for real though, do you think the guys that he's playing with know what he looks like? That he's sitting there naked on his bed with his dad serving him five servings worth of food? Like, holy shit, we need to be paying more attention to who we play with. Well, I have bad news. You did not get your right order. Are you kidding me? No, you didn't. Because if you ordered yourself a meal, it's not in here. Well, whatever. Here you go. There's your lunch. I don't want to call him an enabler, but I mean, sometimes that's really the way it, like, it, it, it seems and it is. I'm not buying the groceries. I'm not buying the frozen pizzas. I'm not buying the chicken wings. There's someone facilitating the food coming in, and it's not me. Okay, I had a little bit of remorse at the beginning of this video. I felt kind of bad. But then he has the audacity to give his dad, what is that, fucking one box of chicken nuggets, like one ten piece, while he's shoving five sandwiches down his throat. And then he's going to go and say that it's not his fault that he's fat, that someone else is bringing the food in. Yeah, but you don't have to eat it, or at least eat as much as you fucking are. Holy shit. You know, he's 34 years old. And, you know, he, he ought to be taking responsibility more than what he's doing. Hey, will you come get this out of here? I this is not like the way. All right. You threw in everything? Yeah. OK. That's good. Food is so much more a part of me than I want it to be. I mean, it's killing me, but like, it's like a drug. You don't even notice it. He needs to take responsibility more than what he's doing. Dude, you are way too nice to your son. He takes no responsibility at all. This guy needs to get a fucking forklift and throw his son onto a trailer and drive him around town until he can find someone that will hire him. I will admit, it can be hard to eat healthy, but you definitely just didn't notice it. Bro, when is the last time that you've seen your fucking feet? I think when your tits are bigger than Mia Khalifa's, you're gonna start to notice it. Now there are moments afterwards where like, I've ate so much where I feel sick. Okay. But I don't mind overeating and just going and throwing up in the bathroom. No big deal. It's all coming back out. It didn't affect me. If I could just eat, 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 not gain weight would be fantastic. But do I want to be fat forever? No. I wish I wasn't in the situation that I'm in. What is this dude's definition of overeating? Because I'm pretty sure anytime he eats, it's overeating. And he says it doesn't affect him, but he literally looks like the girl from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory that ate the piece of chewing gum and she turned into a giant fucking blueberry. So I bathe outside of this trough currently because I cannot physically bathe in a sit-down bathtub or a stand-up shower area. Oh, this is slippery. Oh. Oh. Because I'm a bigger guy with like folds and flaps and I have to move around like almost like a pig in, in a way and wallow and roll over to get like the back of my leg. I have to lift up literal like pieces of skin. It's just a super difficult process. There's two times when I've been kind of stuck in the shower and I couldn't get up. I sat in there for like nine hours. Just couldn't get up. And I can't ask my dad to get me up. And we were like, I was like, Dad, I just, I'm afraid to get back in there again. He's like, well, I got this thing I can buy. Dude, like, I don't even know what to say. How many signs does it take for you to realize that you're not doing something right? I mean, you sat in a fucking bathtub for nine hours because you couldn't get up. And now you're bathing in a fucking barrel. It gets old, it gets old. And I get tired of it and he should be more active. But he's not, he's not. He's, he's. He's just there. He's just there. And I wait on him hand and foot, and I shouldn't do it, but I do. Whew. 
I love him to death. He's my son, and I feel obligated to wait on him. I, I, I shouldn't feel that way. I wished I didn't. I shouldn't, but I do. Me and my dad's relationship is uh, its kind of touch and go. Like, sometimes we'll have great moments together, and then recently in these past, like, years, there's a lot of, like, negativity and anger and frustration. But now I'm at a size to where I need him to help me do things that just no parent wants to be doing when you're in your, th you know, thirties or whatever. I feel so bad for the dad. He knows that his son needs help, but there's not much he can do. He can't just dump him out in the street. It's just a really shitty situation. I'm all for a man having surgery and I know she needs it to save her life, but it's just a scary thing to think of. All right. I've never had surgery, never been, Anesthesia is something I've never even thought about. The, all those things are foreign to me. Did anyone else see his fucking testy slip out as he was getting out of the tub? Holy shit, that thing was huge. It looked like a fucking tumor. Is my dick gonna be that big if I get fat? Holy shit, maybe I just should start playing Fortnite again. I want him to have a normal life, and that's not normal. No, things, things can't go on the way they're going right now. I mean, we, we've gotta make some drastic changes. Well, in conclusion, I really feel bad for the dad. He really cares about his son, more than his son seems like he cares about his own life. I hope they end up turning that shit around, because it's really sad the way they're living. Casey seems like a good guy who just can't get his priorities straight and just maybe needs some help getting there. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it all the way until the end. Comment cuckbag v2 if you made it this far. But honestly, please let me know what you think of the video and if you genuinely enjoyed it. This video should be uploaded on Tuesday, and I plan to upload every Tuesday and Friday. But nonetheless, have a good-ass day, boys. Peace!